And I developed those winning habits. Like waking up early. Like going to practice and practicing hard. Like motivating my teammates to practice hard as well. And to, and to go to fucking practice. By going hard in every single drill. Even when I was tired. Even when I could barely breathe. I've been driving this train years in this lane this gentlemen greetings and welcome back to another episode today I want to talk to you all about why some of you all have loser habits fellas loser habits are going to turn you into a loser if you do the things that losers do every fucking day fellas you're gonna get poor results it's not really that hard to, to figure out and to, to understand if you have good habits, chances are good things are going to come from the things you're doing on a daily basis. Ask yourself this. When you wake up every day, what does your routine look like? What are you doing with yourself? What are you doing on your days off? What are you doing during your free time? If you work Monday through Friday, what are you using your weekend for? Do you wake up on Saturday morning at 9, 10, 11 a.m. and then go to brunch and go get drinks and go have mimosas and just smoke weed all day because I feel like that's what most people do. Most people, most men are looking to escape reality. Most guys are using their weekend to escape reality. And fellas, I'm not saying you can't go out for drinks or go out for brunch or smoke a little weed on occasion and have some fun from time to time but if those things are the only thing on your mind you have loser habits you're waking up and you're doing what losers do you're looking for that for that next way to to have your brain feeling something other than reality because your reality sucks too many guys are looking to just take the easy way out. They don't wanna put any actual hard work in. They just want a handout. They want things to be easy. Well, fellas, what you have to understand is that life isn't gonna be easy for you as a man. You have to pave your own way. You have to make your own way. You have to create your reality. You have to create your own path by the work that you put in, by the connections that you make, by the decisions that you make. If you fall, you're gonna get that ass back up. If you get knocked down, you're gonna get that ass back up. And you're gonna keep chugging along. And that's the mentality. We're not gonna lay down and just die and just quit. No matter what anybody's saying about us, no matter what these naysayers are saying, no matter what these haters have to say, because chances are they don't know anything about you anyway. They don't know anything about your situation or what you're going through. They're just sitting over there with an opinion. But their opinion about you may be correct if you have loser habits and it's easy to see. Fellas, thinking all the way back to my, my college days, even my high school days playing baseball, there were so many times where I would just look at guys' work ethic and just think, man, y'all are lazy. Y'all have loser habits. Y'all don't want to put no real work in. Y'all don't want to improve. And fellas, not saying that I was some professional level MLB star, but I squeezed everything I possibly could out of my ability the gifts that the good lord gave me i worked as hard as i possibly could to maximize those gifts and to become the best player that i could become and i played as long as i could possibly play and i developed those winning habits 
like waking up early, like going to practice and practicing hard, like motivating my teammates to practice hard as well and to, and to go to fucking practice. By going hard in every single drill, even when I was tired, even when I could barely breathe. When I was in college, we had a baseball coach who, he pushed us extremely hard. He was a great coach. He really was. Now, he could be an asshole at times, don't get me wrong, and sometimes he pissed me off. But I say he was a great coach because he helped me and the rest of the guys on the team he helped us develop excellent habits. He used to tell us all the time that our process sucked. He'd be yelling at us, telling us, your process sucks. And me and the rest of the guys, we used to get a kick out of that. But it was true. Our process sucked. Because when he took over our program, we were one of the worst teams in the country. The, the year prior, fellas, I'm embarrassed to even tell you all this. But the year prior to him getting to, to our school, we had a 1-39 record. Yes, that's right. You heard that correctly, fellas. We were 1-39. We won one ball game all fucking year. And do you know what that feels like to go out there and lose on an everyday basis? Oh, fellas, I can tell you right now, it doesn't feel good. But our previous coach... He was a loser. He was a loser himself. And so it's no wonder that he, a coach who had loser habits, oh, his players were going to have loser habits as well. And so while we had a little bit of talent, we were definitely lacking talent, but we definitely had enough talent on our, on our team to win more than one fucking ball game. But again, we had loser habits. We had guys all in the, in the dugout, chewing tobacco, which obviously is illegal on a college campus. Motherfuckers were fat, out of shape, no discipline. And so, fellas, it's no wonder that we had such a bad team and a bad record because we had a, 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 a bunch of loser habits. But again, when our new coach came in, he took over that next year. We won over 19 games. And it was one of the biggest turnarounds if not the biggest turnaround in the country. And we made our conference tournament and we won a couple rounds in our conference tournament. And we had essentially the same ball club outside of maybe six or seven additions, which they definitely helped. Don't get me wrong. Those new players definitely helped us. But the main thing that helped us improve our, our game and our standings and allowed us to win more games was our habits. Coach Johnson was his name. Coach Johnson came in and he turned our program around because he changed our fucking mentality. He had us going to AM practices. He had us in the weight room. He was in the fucking weight room with us making sure we were there. He had us going to study hall two nights a week. If you weren't on the honor roll, he had your ass in study in study hall. You think we were doing that with the previous regime? Hell no, we weren't. We were partying. We were smoking blunts. We were drinking. We didn't care about class, but now the standard had had been raised. So now I found myself, I wasn't on honor roll, so I had to go to study hall Tuesday and Thursday night for three fucking hours. You think I wanted to be there? Hell no, I didn't want to be there. This shit was embarrassing because all the all the other uh, guys on the team who were on honor roll, they didn't have to come to these bullshit ass study halls. And at the time, I hated it. But you know what it did for me? It built up those habits, fellas. It built up the, the quality habits that I needed because I said, oh, wait a minute. You're telling me if I just do what I'm supposed to do in class and I get myself on the honor roll, I don't have to come to these bullshit ass study halls? Bet. So you know what I did, fellas? I got on the fucking honor roll. I made honor roll. 
for the first time in my goddamn life because I had a coach who raised the expectation of his players. I had a coach who raised the expectation for each individual on that team. And he helped me build winning habits moving forward. He helped me build that mentality that I still hold today, where I'm not backing down from anyone. I'm not backing down from any challenge. And that I know I can do and accomplish by simply putting the work in. And shout out to Coach Johnson for not only turning around a college baseball program, but for changing the mentality of so many young men like he helped me do and getting my shit together and making me believe that I was better than the production that I was previously putting up. So fellas, point of me telling that story is that loser habits can be changed. It doesn't matter what you're doing now. But you need to be able to, to recognize the fact that you have these loser habits and be willing to change to change them. Maybe you're not an athlete. Maybe you don't have a coach who's riding your ass to make changes. Well, that's why you have me here. If you're watching these videos, I'm not making these videos for you to not take anything from. I'm trying to help you change your mentality and get rid of that loser way of thinking, that woe is me. I still talk to way too many guys who have a loser's mentality. Even if you just look at the comments, fellas, on some of my bigger videos, I have a video that's been doing really well recently called Signs You're More Attractive Than You Think. It's one of my older videos from five, six, seven months ago. For whatever reason, that particular video caught the algorithm. And so I'm getting all kind of randos who don't even know me or have seen my content before coming in and watching that video and commenting. And just all the losers that come in there with that woe is me. Oh, well, I don't think I'm attractive, bro. So uh, none, of the, none of these signs apply to me, bro. Like, you should see how many people come in and comment that bullshit. And it's like, you, you just have such a loser mentality. You don't believe in yourself at all. The shit is just... It's, it just, it disgusts me. It literally disgusts me. The fact that not only are some of you all thinking that about yourself, but you have the audacity to come online and, and, and speak those words into existence by writing it so it's cemented on the internet forever about yourself. That's a loser's mentality. Because again, every man should have the self-belief to believe that they are attractive to some degree. You may not have a male model face or body, but attractiveness is much more than face and body. It's your appearance. It's how you dress. It's how you carry yourself. It's how well your facial hair is groomed. It's how your haircut looks or how your shaved head looks. It's how clean your shoes are. It's how you smell. It's your swagger. It's your charisma. Fellas, attractiveness covers many different things. And you never know whether a woman is gonna be attracted to you or not. So all this negative Nancy, Debbie Downer, woe is me, no one likes me bullshit, that's some loser shit. Stop speaking like a loser and start speaking like a winner. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Come pledge to my Patreon if you want to support me and get a whole new catalog of weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. 
I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.